What, what does that rabbit say? Hold on, I think someone sent that to me recently. What, what, what was that rabbit? No, where'd it go? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That that one picture of the rabbit from the video game that's like, when I'm happy, I jump in the air and go, yippee! That's me. That's me when I see you all. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new day, brand, brand new world, brand new world, comma, brand new, brand new world. Um, for those of you who missed the memo and looked at my stream schedule and were like, wait, Nikki's not so scary Halloween party isn't Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Uh, I will reiterate it for everyone that missed my thought process when I was talking it over. Um, when I was looking for walkthroughs for Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights, I went into it with the thought process of like, oh yeah, uh, it's, you know, actually pretty scary and like, you know, October time and Halloween's all about being spooked and scared. So I thought it would be a good way to like get like actually something scary in. Um I did have a walkthrough in mind. I had a couple. I had like a backup too. Um but both of them were pretty flashing light and strobe heavy. And for a little bit I was like I, you know, I could just put on a warning. It doesn't really bother me too much. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, eh. I, I, I don't want to, like, alienate all the folks that have, like, epilepsy or even, like, sensitivity to that kind of thing for, like, a whole ass stream. So instead of doing Halloween Horror Nights, because they are very flashing light heavy. I am going to do one that is less strobe heavy. And I know I can always trust the Disney parks. <laughs> I'm like, Papa Disney, please come back. You can blame it all on me. I will, in fact, not only rate Maze Town. But also, I am going to show you all uh, Maze Town. Wait, was that the to no? My my dumb head is covering the the Torcel guys. If you don't follow Torcel on YouTube, uh, please do. She's awesome. Deer is great and also really funny. And puts a lot of effort into her scripts. Also, just let me enter my credit card. <laughs> just give me a second. <laughs> payments and done. Okay, for real this time. Straight away, beam. Uh, are you kidding me? I just <laughs> So, how do you with that helmet on, anyway? Well, you see... Borger! Ah! <gasps> Greetings, world. You! I am Demia, your future ruler, coming to you live from our new secret base for any heroes who dare to find me. Hmm. Try thinking of the most cruel royal <gasps> base you can think of. With oh, I, I, I like Demia's style. There's no way. What? How? Hey, you said for me to go to the most evil place I could think of. <laughs> oh, this one's great. I love this one. I well to excel, but it looks like it wasn't enough. And now I will kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Algorithm, algorithm. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> let me try to punch your ass again. <laughs> and now I will un. This, this doesn't work. It 
really doesn't. <laughs> How about flatlined? Ooh, that's a good one. That's you like that one, one, huh? Love it. <laughs> Gonna give Torcel a a humble like from a a humble bun. Oh, we ah. You know what? Hold on. Let me let me. Uh, let me just link y'all. Sierra's YouTube. Go, go, go follow Sierra. Go follow Sierra. Uh, what are we doing? Maze Town? Maze Town. Uh, I love Maze Town. A++. I'll, I'll, I'll go to it right now. A++. They all say they love me on eBay. I swear this must be on the list. <laughs> keyboard weirdly enough not much anywhere else like my desk is mostly fine it's just on my keyboard <laughs> oh tr tr <laughs> you came at a perfect time don't you worry your pretty little head Ugh. oh god for my nice pen too I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hidden because I'm like cleaning up my shit right now. So like I'm taking this head pat as like uh, a, a, an emotional reassurance head pat. Oh, my notes. No! What is this? Perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> um Okay, we're we're almost there. Ugh My whole keyboard smells like Mike's hard with blueberry right now. I like I I like Mike's hard with blueberry, don't get me wrong, I don't like it that much. <laughs> If I, if I were funny, I'd be like, oh, I could just like slurp it out my keyboard. But like, I know I haven't cleaned my keyboard in a while. Literally, literally yesterday, I was like, you know, it's been a hot second since I cleaned my keyboard. I, I, I need like to find a good time to like get some compressed air in that shit. What do you know? Oh, spe speaking of cleaning your stuff, uh, <laughs> Sierra recently did a short about um, cleaning your PC out regularly. Okay, I think I think we're good for now. It's a little damp, but uh, I can let that air out while we. You know, go go about our business. We're we're not even gonna be at our computer right now. We're gonna get in the Honda Civic. We're gonna go down to Orlando, Florida, post hurricane, and we are going to go to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Uh, I did think about doing Oogie Boogie Bash. Cause I love me a good oogie boogie bash, but um, I I was like one. I think I did oogie boogie bash a previous year, and two. I already saw this year's oogie boogie bash, so like I know what's coming. I, I know you all don't, but like. 
you know, the thing about Oogie Boogie Bash is like they they rotate out what's going on year after year, but it is just kind of like the same kind of thing year after year too. We weirdly coincidentally, it is the Nightmare Before Christmas one. It's like year after year, the same routine, and I grow so weary of the sound of screams. But instead of Jack being the one, it's it's Oogie Boogie. P pouring out one from a homeboy, Ken Page, who passed away very recently. He he loved being Oogie Boogie. Uh, I think that's good for my crevices and creases in my computer keyboard for now. Ugh. Wait, let me let me throw these away, uh, and then I will get you your beans. I, I know what you want. Meow, meow. There we go. <laughs> Damp bunny beans. My my beans are nice and perfectly dry. I literally like. I I opened it during my countdown, and I was like. Oh, I should have waited till after my countdown. Maze Town. How have I not rated Maze Town? All right, hold on. No, this this can this cannot stand. Me slapping my fist in my other palm. This cannot stand. I am ranking. All of the Azuna songs. I was gonna say Azuna. Uh, all the Azuna songs that are pre-listed here. I'll even scooch the thing so y'all can see the names. This is this is content. This is what content is. It. <laughs> <laughs> this will be Mario in 2005. Okay. Maze Town. Uh, if you have not listened to Maze Town, amazing song. Lovely song. Hold on. Maze Town. I, I think the intro to Maze Town is one of like my favorite Love Live intros, like period. Up there with um the one Aqua song that has the intro that sounds like the Sonic Adventure 2 version of It Doesn't Matter. The <laughs> It was a Blu-ray song. You you'll you you know the one. But no, listen to this. No, that's that's like in the middle. Here we go. Oh, then you get that cool guitar in there. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I just know it was Shizuku's idea to put Latin in there. Uh, obviously. You know what? Da, da, da. I want to listen to like this beginning part because it's really nice. Mm. 
This is such a fun song, even with it being like spooky. It's so fun. I I'm really excited to hear like Azuna stuff with um Koko Hayashi. I, I we got a little bit of that, I think, in like some of the fan meets? But I want to hear more. I want to hear Maze Town with Coco. Uh, Maze Town, A+. Plus. Beautiful song. Love it. Great spooky vibes. Infinity Air Wings, not my favorite. It's... How do I say it? I don't hate it. But it's definitely one of the weaker Azuna songs, in my opinion. Uh, I, I, I'm in the territory of like high, high C to low B. Like, probably C. Happy Nan days. Oh, <laughs> speaking of love life song intros. Hold on. Happy Nyan days. Love Live is deep, guys. Love Live is deep. I, I, I love that, just like, nya, 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 nya. I, f I felt that. When, when Azuna said, nya, 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 I felt that. Uh, you know what, actually? <laughs> so kind of Azuna to wrote small idols like Rin Hoshizora. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Happy Nyan Days. I love the intro. But not my thing. I, it's it's perfectly passable. It's just not my thing. Uh, folklore Kaneki no Uta. Uh, what was that? It's the B side to Maze Town. Uh, really, really good. You you don't get a lot of that like. Folk heat from a Love Live song, but um, it's got that folksy heat to it, and I love it. It's really good. That this is an A song. This is an A tier song. Um, Polka Face and Onigai Fairy. I actually love this one. This this is an easy A for me. This is the B side to Infinity Air Wings. Um, uh, I'm gonna skip over to Romance no Nakade. Uh, I, I need a little refresher on it. Oh, I, I like the vibe. Got that like horn to it. Double beans, double beans. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit of honey garlic chicken when I eat this. Oh no! Shoot, I did the thing. It's okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to like put my finger on how to articulate 
what I feel. It it gives me like that feeling of like being really, really young and like in the back seat of your parents' car and it's like super late at night and you're on your way home and like you're falling asleep in the back of the car and like you're, you're blinking out between being awake and asleep and when you are awake it's just like that kind of musty mid-suburban like business lights and street lamps are the only things you can really make out it, it, it makes me feel very nostalgic and sleepy in like a good way I remember that feeling. Yay! <laughs> I, I'm like so artsy when I need to be. Like sometimes I just feel a feeling and I'm like, no, that's that's exactly what this gives off. <laughs> oh, I like it though. I like it a lot. Another very easy A. And then we have the Azuna first single with b-side dreamland dream world that one i actually can can show you the music video for uh dreamland dream world do, do we have no we don't okay that's fine we'll, we'll take the bs anime cut of it Don't worry. I can kind of do it. If, if I knew the hand positions, I could probably do it. It's a little harder to do with like the arms outstretched. Uh, side note, I really like this, like, Odaiba Street venue. I think this is a very underrated, like, stage location out of the Love Live All-Stars stages. Yeah, uh... Yeah, Dreamland Dream World, you got... I know Isun. I, I love having the Ferris wheel in the back. It's a good look. Uh, love it. Great song. Beautiful song. Gr <laughs> Great song. Fantastic song. Uh, Cheer For You, I actually really, really do like, but not as much as my A ranks. Like, if, if I look at Cheer For You, and then I look at also, like, Maze Town. A Dreamland Dream World, I'm like, mmm. Mmm. Uh, this is one of those, like, high Bs. This is high B. I don't think that is all of Azuna. Wait, wait. Love, life, wiki. I, I, let me double check the wiki. Uh, Nijisaki, no. No, media, media. I changed the layout of the wiki and I'm like, ah. Job boards. 
Uh, fuck it. Uh, I tried to find the discography. You just be like songs. Here's all the songs. Uh, uh, I'll just search Shizuna. Yeah. Hermes right, so Nakade. Oh, we got blue and dancing in the light. Is our blue and blue, blue has to be here? Yes, blue is here. I I knew it. Yeah, no, I was like, I, when I made this list and started my ranking project for every Love Live song I could possibly conceive of, um, one, massive undertaking. <laughs> they, <laughs> they make Love Live songs way too goddamn much. It's okay, though, because I love them all. Um... When I made this undertaking, I was doing the charity month for the Elner's Danlo Society in honor of Tomori. And that was like, oh my gosh, that was like a couple years ago almost. But like, this is, this list has been around for like two years. And also, like, the Azuna live that was based around the single just came out. So like I was like, no, this is blue and dancing light have to be on this one. Did I do dancing in the light though? That's dancing heart love pa pa pa. Dancing in the light. Why is dancing in the light a C? This should be a B. There we go. Thank you. My first Debbie Z. If if you are a long time fan and you can remember your first Demi stream, that makes me so happy. Cause honestly, like there there are some streamers I love. Like I, I I would ride or die for, but I could not fucking tell you when I first found them. <laughs> it's mostly memory problems but like uh, literally i have like streamer friends that i love the content of and like i'm, I'm like good genuine friends with but if you put a, like a gun to my head and we're like what what was the first stream you saw of mine i would have been like fucking shoot me dog <laughs> Pre or post takeover. Um, pre counts. Pre counts. Uh, I know Dut knows. Weirdly enough, I can remember some of my regulars' first streams of mine, but I can't remember my first streams of some of the streamers I like, which is so weird. Because I, I can remember Dut was... Um, the oh what the hell was it called the league of legends rhythm game and stickley's was the charity stream hextech mayhem thank you yeah 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 i want to get back to that game sometime i i, I was thinking about it I, I i got a little bit of a hankering for it it was a really long stream. I I had a lot of fun with it. It it was a really really taxing month, but like it was worth it. I, I worked. It was one of those things I worked really really hard of, and I was really proud of. But like I I was very happy when it was over. <laughs> ah, man, I love love live. Ah, I'm, I'm I'm taking a sip. That was more than a sip, but I am glad I took it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let let's let's get out of the car. Let's uh head on over to like that little tram that. No, they don't have the little tram at 
Disney World, I don't think. Um, when you go to Disneyland, um, there's a big ass parking lot, and they have a little tram line that takes you from the parking lot to downtown Disney just where it meets the two gates for Disneyland and DCA. And I swear to God, this is the reason that like I like to huff gas because like those trams stunk of gasoline. But like instead of being like when I was a little kid, instead of being like, ew, yucky smell, I was like, ooh, this is the smell that makes me think that I'm going to go to Disneyland. <laughs> So I just get like really like pavloved into feeling excited and nostalgic whenever I love guests. <laughs> so let, let's not huff gas and we'll we'll get to Disney World instead. I think my first was either Shadow the Hedgehog stream or Power Watch Sim stream. Where I first learned the term ugly bastard. Oh! You know, we, Love Break and I used to do so many Power Watch streams. I've been meaning to ask since Robin came back. Like, if Robin would like to do a Power Watch sim stream with me. We, we have like a a rare Thursday stream where we both just like power wash. The, oh! The Shrek power wash released recently, I think. Like literally two days ago. Ooh! Yeah. Uh, chalk that one up to like future stream. If not with Love Break, I will still do that because, like, ah, uh, I I was really excited for the Shrek Power Watch DLC. Hey, it's Halloween time! It's Halloween! Let me move myself a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's packed! Oh, I love the little ghosts on the castle. Oh, oh! Headless Horseman. Are we gonna get a horse poop? That would be really funny. That's like a, a staple every single year for Oogie Boogie Bash. Oh? Oh, no poopy! Oh! There it goes. We just didn't see it. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. <laughs> I, I love how every single time we have like headless horsemen on the real horse. Like the horse just needs to take a crap. But also every single time when the janitorial staff comes out to clean it up, everyone's like, whoa, yeah. As you should with all your janitorial staff, to be honest. Oh, I like the spooky music. Oh, I, I like these critters with like little costumes and, and then like Tigger and Pooh just have like masquerade nests, I think Yes, okay. Oh ma Mad Hatter in the mix. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one <gasps> Oh, Flynn Rapunzel Oh, that's great. Oh, Jasmine and Aladdin. Oh, they're bringing out some rare characters for this. Nice! You got Mickey and Donald, and you got uh, the Hocus Pocus, Mini Clarabelle, and Daisy. Halloween. 
still thinking of the shadow stream with Alice and Maria. Ah, oh, that that makes me so happy. Like you're all getting Sonic pilled watching me. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I was gonna say pirate, uh, which technically yes, but also Pete Petra Pan. Ooh, oh, that jump was fun. <gasps> what a shmee! Like, Catherine Hook pops out from time to time. Shmee in the mix! Now that's a different story. Wendy also gives off a little bit of that, like, Maria vibe. All, all, all these, like, young children in, like... Blue dresses, you know. Yeah, pink. Got Pirates of the Caribbean playing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, this rules! Look at that! Wait. Are they gonna have a Pirates of the Caribbean float? Is it gonna have, like, ride characters, or is it gonna have Pirates of the Caribbean movie characters? And if so, are we gonna see my fucking boy Captain Barbosa up in the mix? Because that would make me really happy. Barbosa's very rare. They, they have him as a face character sometimes, but no. Like, he's rare, though. He's usually, like, parades only. Oh! Hello? Is that Barbosa? <gasps> it's purple and he's got his apple! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, my mans! Oh, he's got a... He's, he's serving cunt! We got Jack with the next two. Yeah! Is there an inherent eroticism in synchronized performance routines? I can't explain why, but I know exactly what you you mean by that. Like... I... Hmm... We'll, we'll, we'll think on that. We'll stew on it a little bit. Hello, Zuniku. Thank you for stopping by. How you doing? We're we're here at Disney World Park during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party event. We we all I got tickets for everyone, and we're all front row up to the Booty You Parade. I. I just want to say I love the uh, haunted mansion, grave keeper, sparking uh, shovel fellows that they have. <gasps> scarecrows. Scarecrows is interesting. I don't think I've seen like a scarecrow before. I don't know if this is like a regular for Booty U. Oh, I hear Goofy. Oh, there's Goofy! I love Goofy. I think Goofy's like one of one of my favorites of the Sensational Six, if not my very favorite, to be honest. <gasps> Farmer Goofy! Oh, he's so cute! Halloween Hoedown! Is it because you're Goofy? The way they spend so much time practicing together. Oh, no, come on, come back. On the same page, just like they know each other ins and outs perfectly. That, mm, yeah, you know what? It, it does kind of like take from like that idea of dancing. And like, it's like you, you need to be on the same page as your partner to really make it work. So it's like, <laughs> also, explains why love lives okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's like people working together in tandem, 
their hearts are one. And you, that can go from everything from dancing in a ballroom alone with a spotlight on you to a candlelit dinner and you're just holding each other and swaying softly to being in a choreographed parade show down Main Street at Walt Disney World swinging your shovels around and making those sparks fly. Also, I did want to pause. Uh, we got Country Bears. Hell yeah. We got my homeboy horse, Horse Collar, up in the mix. Hello. Like, Clarabelle's been making a presence a little bit more and more, especially in, like, the last, I don't know, like, four years, I want to say. Horace, on the other hand, he, he, he doesn't show up too much. And then we have these, like, I, I just gotta say, these sexy chickens. Uh, <laughs> when, when I say I'm into these sexy chickens, I don't mean I'm, like, into them, but, like, I, I love their vibe. Oh, you know what? I, I can crop this a little bit. You've been getting a black bar this whole time and not seeing, like, a little chunk of the screen. There we go. I, I fix. I fix for you. <laughs> I sing for you. Oh! This is Chicken too. I forgot the chicken's name. Why don't you bring up a new tab so I can, like, Google things on the side. Disney Chicken. It's like Clarice, I want to say. Not Chicken Little. Please not Chicken Little. Please not Hey Hey. Uh, Clara Cluck. Yeah, that's her name. Whoa! What? One, wondrous Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph. That's his name. <laughs> Sugar rush delivery. Oh, ooh, yeah. I was gonna say, like, where, where's Penelope? But we we got like Sugar Rush Racers, looking good. I love their sticks. I love their light up sticks. I want to I want a light up stick. You kidding me? What? Get out of here. You got Vanellope. I love this flow. Ooh. I like this little like bird made out of an orange on top of the float too. Oh, that's so fun. <gasps> Ursula! Ursula and her two eels. Yeah. I love how much the parks love to use this Ursula, like, character float, question mark, in parades. Because I like this character float, walk around, question mark. <gasps> Cruella! Whoa! And her goons! You know, Cru Cruella's been recently making a bit of like a face character walk around going on lately. Not her goons though! The goons are new! <sighs> oh, these are some A plus goons. Love it. We got Queen of Hearts and some cards, looking great. Lo loving the look on the cards. The cards really shape up, like, regularly. Like, they don't stay very consistent. But, like, they look good this year. I like these- the spooky skeleton band, what? Can we? <gasps> pain, pain and panic? What are pain and panic doing here? Ooh, love it. Oh, you believe? Gaston, Felicia, 
Step Sisters, Lady Tremaine. Uh, I see the fox from. But oh my gosh, from the fella bowler hat guy, bowler hat guy from Meet the Robinsons. That I, I'm I'm legit blown away. I've never seen Bowler Hat Guy before. I don't know if he's new or what. But that, that actually looked really good too. I cannot believe for the life of me there is Meet the Robinsons representation in our Lord's Year of 2024. That makes me very happy because I love Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> Disney parades are always delightful. They're so fun. <laughs> if you're a little kid, you get to see all the characters and be like, wow, cool. And if you're like a normal, you know, adult, you can like really enjoy the artistry that goes into like the dancing and the floats and the costumes. And if you're like me and you're a loser, then you see all the characters and you're like, wow, I know what that is. Oh. What's this? Is this a stage show? Oh, it's a Hocus Pocus show. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I, I love all the costuming for this show. This is cool. I love the vests. I love the candelabras. J Jafar Maleficent, this is a cannon ship. Um. You know what? I would not be surprised if they had a weird kind of like non-canon, but definitely canon like relationship of some kind going on. Cause like, you know, obviously they're not gonna be meeting in like their source material, but you got like House of Mouse, you got Kingdom Hearts too. I actually really like the uh, villains' interactions in Kingdom Hearts. Why haven't I played Kingdom Hearts on stream? Outside of like, you know, it taking like a bajillion hours to play through. I I've actually never played Kingdom Hearts. I, well, have I told you all my experience with Kingdom Hearts? Um, so, I know most of what I know through Kingdom Hearts through watching Let's Plays. Cause like, I, I'm, a, I'm addicted to watching people play Kingdom Hearts. But me, myself playing it, I have only played the tutorial area of Kingdom Hearts 2, which if you're familiar, like, that's kind of like its own little thing before the game proper even starts. It is like two hours long. It's long. And then I played like a few hours of Kingdom Hearts 3. And I really liked it. But I just never played it again after I did that. <gasps> there they are. Oh, what what are their names? They're, they're the sisters of some sort. Focus, focus, movie. The these face characters look amazing. Look at their costumes. Sanderson says thank you. Thank you. I, 
I love them yucking it up. They're great. I, I love watching their like cloaks flow around. Oh, it's so pretty. Huh? Watch this? Watch <laughs> I love this enthralled dancing. Awesome. I love how thematic the castle is. Like, you're watching the castle back there? It's so cool. Wait, they also got cloaks? I want a cloak. I want a cloak too. <gasps> Chocolate! Fish fillet on you. Yeah, I got a, I got a stinky fish cloak now. It's okay though. <laughs> My cloak is a good friend. It makes it all worth it. <laughs> Felicia! Felicia up in the mix! What, you kidding me? A tip of the hat from the one and only Dr. Fassurier, also known as the, the Shadow, Shadow Man. Man. Shadow Man. Shadow Man. <gasps> Dr. Felicia and the Sanderson sisters together? Well, you're in luck with those ladies. I can deliver. Oh, <gasps> ooh. favorite uh disney park stories um one so i grew up in southern california and when you live in southern california you basically just like live at your local theme park and when oh this parks uh when uh, Brother Bun, Sister Bun, and I would get dropped off. We would just like, you know, bum around Disneyland and just like hang out for a day while Mama Bun would just like get some time for herself at home. And one time I was there with just Brother Bun and we were holding hands as bunny siblings do walking down New Orleans Square and we saw Dr. Felicia like fast walking towards us and like uh, we we let go of our paws together to let Felicia pass through us and then we put them back together and started walking again and at the same time we both like stopped walking and like looked at each other we were both like Wait, was that Dr. Felicia? <laughs> it, it didn't even hit us that it was him until like, he like fast walked between us. We were both like, what? what? 
we were flabbergasted that it was Dr. Felicia being the one fast walking towards us. <laughs> Felicia got that skibbity riz. Uh, ban one minute. <laughs> You're you're right! You're right! Oh look, look at him just like swagging over there with his cane. Wait, is that corn? Look at this corn back here covering the stage door. Love that. Crossover, you got the Sanderson sisters, Dr. Felicia, and Oogie Boogie! I'm the stuff of your worst nightmare. The Boogie Fee Man. Lyrics too. That's cool. And the Wiggles. House of Mouse earlier. This really does make me think of like a modern day like Mickey's House of Villains. Y'all remember that? That was a Halloween special for House of Mouse. But instead of it being like um like Captain Hook and Evil Queen, it's like you know Sanderson Sisters Felicia Oogie Boogie. What? It's got like a modern touch. Oh, look, look how the how cool the castle looks! Oh wow! H having like some live dancers dance to the song is like so good. like using these like songs and voice clips even though Ken Page can't really record any new ones like I know for a fact that he records like new ones year after year but like I, I hope they keep using them because like Oogie Boogie is such a like an integral part to a lot of the Halloween stuff over the Disney parks and it would be really sad to see it all gone. I, I don't think they will, but I, I I hope I hope they keep it. Oh, 
Hmm. You know, that's a good point. Like, I don't know if they're gonna use AI or anything. I hope they don't. Cause like, I think if they just keep whatever has been recorded already and just not add anything new, I would be happy with that. <gasps> Maleficent! I forgot which came first between the film when Peg Lake P tried running the house. Oh, I remember that one! Man, it's been so long since I've seen House of the House. I kind of want to, like, watch some of it again. I remember really liking it because when I was a... Even when I was a little kid, I really liked the Disney shorts. Gilbert Godfrey AI voice. I, I, I've heard some of like those AI voices and like uh my thoughts on the ethics of them aside, like I'm I, I <laughs> there, there's like weirdly a lot of quality that goes into them. Hades! Hades is new for this year, actually. They got a really good Hades. Uh, you can actually see him in Oogie Boogie Bash, too. You got Evil Queen, Hades, Cruella! Oh, th this is just like a villain show! It's all the villains! <gasps> Face actor Captain Hook! Jafar! Yeah! Oh! Oh, this guy's got some presents, dude. Look at that. <gasps> Ainley Dream! <laughs> Wait, no! Hold on, go back. That, that was sick as fuck. No, look, look at it. Look at her, like, poise and her hand gestures here. Oh, that rules! <laughs> oh, I love you, Lady Tremaine. Wow! They are serving! What? That is insane! It's insane! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Ah, uh, 
I put a spell on you with all the Disney villains. <laughs> I can't believe they like clipped it. I wanted to hear that. It was gonna be so cool. Wow! <laughs> yeah, li dude, this is so cool. There's like lyrics on the castle and everything. <laughs> Hocus Pocus is basically a movie for the spell on you scene. Honestly, honestly, like I don't think anyone who likes the movie to any degree is in it for anything other than the Sanders sisters it's like th it, it is like the cracker in which you eat the delicious ham and cheese of the Sanderson sisters with <laughs> villains like with their own very characteristic like dancing style too this is so cool Tremaine's got like such energy I can't not look at her normally when I I go for my love live idols like there's always like I I, I appreciate all of them and I try to you know watch everyone I'm not really like a hard like Oshiman for like any one particular member. That said, like I could not take my eyes off Lady Tremaine this performance. Bubbling over is a rebirth reference. <gasps> Haunted Mansion! Oh, it's blue! Oh, it looks great! Oh, it's so spooky! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I like the layout of the actual ride in California better, but like, I love the queue. Oh, I love these two. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, over there, I see. Yeah. Hello there. Oh, the ship has come in. Yes, it has. Yeah. And I'm not wow. How y'all doing down there? You have cadaverous power. Oh. She's an aura of foreboding. Me when my cadaverous. Is this Wait, what the fuck did he say? Me when I have a aura foreboding. There we go. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> They're stuck inside the haunted mansion. Challenge to find a way out. Oh, this part actually really does scare me. Like, they got the big scream, and they got the hanging guy at the top! Yeah, see? Look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. <laughs> I, I, I love that line in particular. Like, I didn't mean to scare you just yet. 
this warning. The spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated at all times. Haunted Mansion ride. Ooh. You know, I, I did just say I like the layout of the California version more than the Florida version because the ride actually does have two different layouts per location. Um, like this room with like the paintings. This is part of the queue in California, but it's part of like the ride ride here in Florida. Um, I do like this library scene from Florida. It's really pretty. I think the like bus that look at you effect works better when you're in the doom buggy than like when you're right next to it in the queue. Oh, this part too. This like whole mess of stairs going on. This is this one isn't in California, but I do like this whole mess of stairs. Yeah, spooky eyes. Ooh. There he is. This is my boy. I love the hat boxes. Do the thing. 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 <laughs> Yay! Yeah! I, I don't even care that you're before when you're supposed to be. Like, I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, there is some drama in the Haunted Mansion community. Where, um, so I, I, I'll pause to kind of explain this because this is, um, <laughs> some, some real nerd shit. Um, when they made a animatronic for the Hatbox Ghost. Um, in California, he is after the attic scene. And nobody raised a stink. Here in Florida, he is before when the ghosts of the ride start to show. Um, for a normal person riding the ride, you're probably not going to think too much of it. Um... For hardcore Disney Park lore fans, um, a lot of people have some grievance with this because in the story and kind of like flow through layout of the ride, it's kind of almost in like two parts. There's the first part where it's very eerie and moody and atmospheric and real important thing you don't actually see physically any of the ghosts um a lot of the scares and spooks are like you know the breathing door the skeleton trying to get out of the coffin the floating candelabra where it's kind of like you know ghosts and spooky happenings are implied but you don't actually physically see a ghost um there's a specific line that the ghost host says where he's effectively saying the ghosts have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize. And after he says this, then this is where you start seeing the ghost physically. This is like the ballroom scene where they use the famous pepper ghost trick. Um, this is like the graveyard scene where you see them as animatronics and like the little jump scare moments in the attic. Um, so in California, the Hatbox Ghost shows up after your sympathetic vibrations have been 
found and you know all the ghosts start to materialize materialize um so this isn't a problem in california however a lot of people have some problems with the fact that in the layout of the ride there is a lot of like atmospheric non-physical ghost happenings for the first chunk of the ride but also there's the hat box ghost just hanging out doing his thing now again like if you're just like a casual enjoyer this is probably no huge deal to you but uh it is a hotly contested thing in the disney parks fandom um personally i really like the way that the ride is split up into two and i do kind of have a little bit of grievance with it but also i am one of like the few people that actually really really likes the 2023 haunted mansion movie and one of the things about the haunted mansion movie is like hatbox ghost himself kind of a weird special guy um so i i think if it was like anyone else like if it was like constance the 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 bride or someone like that i would have more of a problem with it but i am one of the few people that actually cares about the lore and world building set up by the 2023 movie so i don't really mind too much <laughs> that's your deep disney park lore for the day guys i made a honey garlic chicken for dinner and it's so good it's nice and crispy it's nice and sweet and savory We love Adam Leota in this house. She's great. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. I tried to listen for the line. Yeah, there it is. This is the part where like a lot of people say, okay, this is where you should start seeing all the ghosts now. It has literally been like, oh gosh, what is it? Like 70, 80 years since they first made the first Haunted Mansion ride. And the Pepper's ghost effect still looks so good. There, there is no beaten how good like practical effects look, honestly. Now we get the attic scene. I do find it really interesting. And also kind of a funny thing. So between actual October and December, that's when Haunted Mansion gets its Nightmare Before Christmas overlay. Where it gets, um, what's it called specifically? I forgot what it's called specifically. But, um... So if you're going around like Halloween time and you were like, okay, why don't I go on like the spooky ride? Why don't I take in Haunted Mansion in its purest state? Um, you won't really get that because it's covered in Nightmare Before Christmas. 
um the best time to really experience it is in like september or october or um august september before the overlay happens and you may be thinking that's way too early i would like to do it in october please <laughs> but um it's kind of funny because with the way the parts are doing like their halloween and fall overlays earlier and earlier you can have your full like halloween disney experience complete with un nightmare before christmas haunted mansion in like august if you really wanted to <laughs> I love watching ride walk through people uh, go to the Haunted Mansion because you can see like their big ass like camera setup that they have. It's great. I love that. Wow. <gasps> oh, it's purple and green now. Oh, spooky fireworks. Ooh. <gasps> Nightmare before Christmas. I love that green smoke. That's some cool smoke. You know, there's actually a another like castle show where um, they have Nightmare Before Christmas characters, and they got like a big like puppet Jack Skellington, and it looks. So so good. And they got Chris Sarandon to do the lines and everything. Pretty much everyone that was part of Nightmare Before Christmas loves coming back and doing like their roles for the Disney parks. Ken Page used to love being Oogie Boogie. Chris Sarandon loves being Jack Skellington. It makes me very happy because like I love both of them greatly. This is the rest of the... Okay, okay. Wait, what is it? Not so spooky, spectacular fireworks. Not so spooky, spectacular fireworks. We, we need to see this show close up so you can take a look at my boy. Look at my boy there. Look at my mans. Front row view of Jack Skellington. Thank you. This is important. This is important. We we need to get a good view of Jack. I'm gonna have my Smasher Pass skeleton stream soon. And you know, you bet your buns Jack Skeleton's on there. He, he's gonna be top tier. Spoiler alert. You get a nice little view of the castle too. All the fun projections that they have up there. <laughs> oh, smash your pass. I can't force beans. 
I, I don't blame you. Beans are pretty good. <laughs> you had a nice review of like the castle too. Oh my god! Oh my man's! Yay! Jack! Dear friends, it's wonderful to have you here. For I, Jack Skellington, have a tale to tell. <laughs> yes, Halloween is a night filled with surprises. Playful wow. treats, full treats. What? Anything can happen on Halloween, as some friends found out on a night much like this one. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, but just look at how cool this stuff it is. I love zero. it. It's so good. Where is that dog? Ah, there you are, Zero. It's time now to take our friends. Zero's on the castle. You just can't really see it. One that will watch the super bucket. Oh, the cleat? Oh, you know, that's a good point. Why didn't they do, like, clear? Bye, Jack. Oh, I love this, like, spooky Halloween candy cover castle. Oh, Mickey's here! I can't believe you offended Jack Skellington. I can't believe this. Dude, watching this show with alcohol rules. You kidding me? So you actually don't really get to see a lot of Jack in this show. He only really shows up in the beginning and the end. It's mostly about making friends. But also, it's still really cool. Like, look at that! Oh, the projection mapping on the castle is so good in this show. I love it. in my spooky show! Oh no! Oh, look at him go. Oh yeah! Oh, you love it. I love it. I love it. Whoa! Skeleton castle! Oh, look at him go. This is great. We, <laughs> we were talking about the eroticism of synchronized dancing earlier, and let me tell you, you just got a lot more rock now that skeletons are involved. Oh, I forgot there were fireworks going off! I I've been so distracted with the skeletons. I was like, oh yeah, huh? Oh, this is cool. All the fire rigs, all the skeletons. <laughs> the hands behind the headphones. <laughs> Wow! Nope, they're 
just a bunch of funny bones. <laughs> You're a bunch of funny bones. It's coming from behind that door. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like a ghost. <gasps> we got ghosts too. Multiple ghost dance. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. It's a, it's a little haunted mansion-y. Every time they do the like the blue ghost and the candelabra, it's like, oh yeah, haunted mansion time. really cool just like Mickey and friends going to the haunted mansion I'll even have the organ player yeah I promise I'm like closing my mouth when I chew. I'm not an open mouth chewer. I hope you can get the Halloween song. Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited for the 12 months of the Jigasaki solos. I'm so excited for it. I feel like a lot of them feel like obvious in an unfun way. But like my only real like, I, I think all of them are perfect except for one. I really wanted Mia to get July for 4th of July. But I, I'm fine with her being first. Her being January, she's like the first one to get her solo out. Boogathy, boogathy! I love Oogie Boogie's like casino theme. <gasps> Hades! Same thing like I said about uh, Ken Page and Chris Sarandon. James Woods loves being Hades. That makes me happy. Ursula too! Ooh, spooky. Whoa. <gasps> Queen of Hearts too! I, I love these Disney villains trying to straight up murder Mickey and friends. That's so funny. Oh, look at them go. So intense. Whoa. Yay. Thanks, 
<laughs> that was fun and scary, especially the part where we almost got murdered. Loved that. <gasps> Guess who's back? Shivers down my spine. Yay! That was amazing. We thank you for joining us for Disney's not so spooky spectacular. As you carry on with your evening, we hope you continue to experience the playful tricks and frightful treats. Of Halloween. Please enjoy the rest of your night at Nikki's not so scary Halloween party. That was the rest of like the other video too. I didn't. I thought it was gonna be a walkthrough of the uh, park during fall time, but I guess not. It was just like the shows and stuff. Uh. Honestly, I mean, I'm good calling it here. Wait, un unless, unless we also do Oogie Boogie. How, how much is the Oogie Boogie Bash? Because Oogie Boogie Bash is absolutely like a walkthrough for sure. <gasps> the merch of Oogie Boogie Bash. Oh, why don't we look at the merch of Oogie Boogie Bash? Actual, oh, you know what? I think we can, we can go through Oogie Boogie Bash too. You know, th this year's Oogie Boogie Bash is pretty cool. It's only another 40 minutes. <sighs> well, we'll do Oogie Boogie Bash too, and, and then I'll call it. There's a lot of fun stuff in Oogie. See? See? We got Hades here for this year. He's new. What? No, no, no. You don't know how to read? Okay, I'll help you out. Look at it. H-A-D-E-S. Hades. Hideaway. Don't you dare. All right, our kiddo. I, I do like how he's got, like, colored hair with, like, lights in it. It looks really good. And he's got like yellow eyes too. That's amazing. Over and over and over again in a chant, I get fired up, and that's all you have to say. Oh, check this out! Check this out! Check this out! God, it gets me all fired up because I had 18 years of a plan, and all you care about is Hercules. He he even goes like uh. Like red hair version. That that sheer is warranted. Believe you me. <gasps> they even got pottery. Oh, look, look at the pottery over there. Oh, it looks great. Do what you're evil incorporated. I, I love the Doobie Shirt! Doobie Shirt looks a 
accurate. Whether that's a good thing or not, but like I, <laughs> I also really like the uh, like set he has. I, I, I want to see this in nature. He's got an innator up on the stage here. I mean, they, he, he's even got like prop eyebrows. Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah! Look at this laser! Look at this laser! Oh, I love it! I love that thing in the background too. I think that's like, like an animation on like a screen. Yeah. Oh, I love that. We got Judge Doom again, looking great. He's got like a caged tune this time though. Last year during Iggy Biggy Bash, he just like dipped it in the dip raw dog, but like you gotta tune in like a little cage this year. I like this dip bubbling over TM. <laughs> well, hold them for information. Maybe you'll get off easy if you give us all that we need to know about that rabbit. But don't worry if you help me. And if you're not a two, this can't hurt you. And I'm just a judge. I'm here to keep you safe. I, I like this guy's impeccable, like, Christopher Lloyd going on. What, was, was Christopher Lloyd Judge Doom or was that Christopher Walken? Germa coded. Yeah, it's Germa. It's not Christopher Walken or Christopher Lloyd, it's Germa. <laughs> it was Christopher Lloyd, okay, yeah. I blinked for a second and I was like, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah! Oh, dude, I love the Ernesto de la Cruz's at Oogie Boogie Bash. Ernesto? Are you kidding me? Look, look, look at this guy! Look at this costuming! They got like a skull sculpt going on. It's like a. I think I saw like a breakdown of like how they do the costume. It's like a headpiece? With like a like a like prosthetic jaw thing going on. It looks really good. <laughs> Ernesto is on the skeleton tier list. I, I like the spooky version of Remember Me too. It's really cool. This is a skeleton. This is not a costume performer. This is a skeleton. <laughs> I give him an insanely hard pass. He tried working a kid. But, consider, he's hot. Mur murder is okay. That was muy muy caliente. What did you say? <laughs> Killing children is forgivable for hot people. <laughs> You'll never guess what my next evil plan is, by the way. Wink wink. Sing the 
<laughs> you know, there was that to that cosplay comment earlier. Like, a lot of the fun in Oogie Boogie Bash is like this going on, where it's like walkthroughs of like villain sets, and it's literally just like a bunch of like Disney and Pixar villain cosplay going on. It's basically like costume performers being like villains and having their own little sets to go around. <laughs> Thank you, Ernesto. They, they rotate out the characters. Like, some of them stay, some of them go, some of them... Sometimes there's new ones. But, like, if, if you like the costuming and prosthetics and, like, all the effort that goes into performances of base characters, like, Oogie Boogie Bash is the Disney event for you. We got Oogie, Boogie see my mans, front and center. Last year or the year before, but he's back this year. I love the scenes. <laughs> he's such a little jerk. I love him. how much of like a jerk Sid is as a face character I think it's really funny but also I love the props of like Sid's toys too they, they look really good like, like look at those props I'm trying so hard to like readjust this one back on its table. I love how mean child is in the same video as world doing villain. Exactly! I mean... I mean... I mean... Wait! Hold on. No, go back! We, we do love a lot so. We do love a lot so. But, I, I just want to look at this uh, Kermit head guy again. Yeah, look, look at this guy. I saw him for a brief second in time, but it was really funny. Anderson sisters, Mickey, Clarabelle, and Daisy. Love it, love it. Oh, wait! What, what was that Miss Piggy too? I didn't even notice. Oh, you're so right! I didn't even notice! Oh, that's great. Man, 
Talk about, like, serving, you know? Uh, Clarabelle being part of the regular rotational lineup for Mickey and Friends characters. Really good. Like, Clarabelle really, like, made her mark when she was at the, like, Disney Pride events. They always bring her out for Disney Pride. And she always slays it. She's so, so, like, impactful. She's cool. This is a Marvel villain. I don't know who she is, but she's great. I like her cool coat. I love her costume too. It's great. Wow. Whoa! Some kind of Agatha. Yo Yokai's back. Yokai's back up in the mix. Like, um, you got the San France Tokyo entryway to Pixar Pier. So, like, you, you gotta have Yokai, you know? We can shape the future of San Francisco. One thing stands in our way. Alistair Craig. I know, like, not a lot of people are big fans of, uh, Yokai as, like, a character. But, like, I do like his look. He's great. Mim is new. Mim is either, like, new for this year or she came out even last year. But, like, Mim is great. I love Mad Mad and Moon. She's so fun! Do I look dreadful enough? And all my dreadful glory. <laughs> and, and the Kingdom Hearts Mickey and Donald. No Goofy, surprisingly. But Mickey and Donald are here. They only really bust out the Kingdom Hearts stuff, like, during Halloween. But, like, it's cool. It's, like, better than nothing, for sure. Bye, Mickey. I love the Keyblade Pop. It's so cool. Shiro from Nottingham. Bruno? Bruno Encanto, I think, is also new this year. I like his little setup here. Uh, I've never seen that Kanto. But I couldn't tell you, like, how good this Bruno looks. I, 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 I've been meaning to see it. I, I heard it's actually really, really good. It's like one of, like, the better Disney movies that come out in, like, the last, like, ten years. Then you got Villains Grove. Villains Grove is like, so there's the Redwood Forest, like walk through and like play area for the kiddos. But it becomes like Villains Grove during Oogie Boogie Bash. They change up the effects that they do for Villain Grove every year. And there's another effect that's coming up that I actually really like. I can't remember if it's like here at the front or if it comes up later. But I'll point it out when we see it because it's really cool. Like the whole thing is cool.
lots of lights, lots of like projection mapping going on. Like all those like sparkling lights through the trees. These swirls of mystery. Ah, it's the Cheshire Cat. You know, it's hard for me to like think of Alice in Wonderland without thinking about Kalmana now. Cause I, I was watching this video when it came out like a month or two ago, and <laughs> Kalmana just dropped some like deep lore on me, unprompted, and now I can't think of like Alice in Wonderland without Kalmana's secret deep lore. This isn't the effect that I was talking about before. I do like this effect though. They got like these white flowers that turn red. Pretty cool. And then like these lights. Oh wait. No, that, those weren't the lights. <laughs> Along with all the projection mapping, there's like these tiny little lights that make like 3D villains in the villain grove. And then you got like the elephant graveyard with like Lion King themed villainy and deviousness abound. Munching, crunch crunching, and drink drinking. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I, I love how I get to have like dinner with you guys. Like, I, I literally be doing like this exact same thing, just like, you know, ha having a cold one, eating dinner, watching Disney videos. I get to do it with you all! We get to do it together! Yeah, 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 yeah! I like these marching hyenas are pretty cool. They had that like geyser effect earlier too. That was pretty sweet. This one's new for this year in Villains Grow. There's like, uh, mm, there's like Princess and the Frog stuff with Felicia, and these like spooky, like spooky voodoo's on the ground. It's like the 
only part they really have for from ECA though, which is a shame. I wish they had like a little bit more for him. Oh, oh, this is the part. This is the part. This is all like lighting effects and like projection mapping and stuff. Water falls on every individual tree. How do they do that? You don't have like lights running down the trees or anything like that. Like, oh. And they make make this whole part look like stars. It's so pretty. I want to be in like forest space here. It's so cool. Okay, ready? I, 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 I know it's just like lights, but like, ah, it's so pretty. Well, I want to get one for like my bedroom and just make it look like I'm in the middle of the universe while also laying down and playing cookie run on my bed. They have those, don't they? Like, little, like, night lights or bedroom lights you can kind of, like, project universe lights onto, like, your walls and ceiling with. I, I want to get one eventually. I I think like that space aesthetic looks really nice. Let's be in like a sleepy mood. This part is nice too. All these nice warm orangey lights going on. Heavenly aura through the fog, through the light. And that's the end of Villains Grove. Right next to Grizzly River Rapids, so if you want to go through the spooky Redwood Creek and then absolutely splash down while it's dark, you can. Oh yeah, spooky Cars Land! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a lot of people really, really, really like Cars Land. Like, surprised me a little, little bit, I must say. Cause like, I, I don't really like see Cars as like a franchise people are like die hard super fans of. But like, Cars Land is like super themed and it's got Radiation Springs Racers, which is basically the West's version of Test Track. My nephew loves cars. It's so weird, cause like... I don't really see a lot of Disney fans talk about cars like they're obsessed with it. But I remember being like a kid and Cars 2 came out and I got obsessed with cars after that. I know people say that Cars 2 is easily like not just the worst Cars movie, 
but the worst like Pixar movie. And, but I don't, I don't know, man. I like my spy stories. I really liked Cars 2 a lot. I had like a little like character book, like one of those character encyclopedias for Cars. I loved that book. That was cool. Mm. The parade for this year. Not only does it have the heads of the swordsman, it also has Ichabod Crane. Ichabod is new. Ichabod's a new character, and that is amazing. I like. Can, can we take a moment and appreciate how like what one well dressed, but two also like very goofy and silly this Ichabod is. I love that. We got Headless Horseman and his horse. You know what that means. Is the horse gonna do it? There it goes. Poopy. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Yippee! Alright, now, now that the poop has been cleaned! It's time for this parade. I forgot the name of. Frightfully fun. Is it frightfully fun? This is like the parade that they have for Oogie Boogie Bash. Also, they got Mickey and Minnie's 2024 Halloween outfits. This snazzy top hat for Mickey and like this cute witch fit for Minnie. A frightfully fun parade, yeah. like the uh, performance outfits here too. Like these kind of like... The, the witches? And like these not like vampire vampires, but like these like cloak and top hat fellas that they have. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, I, lo I love this little ghost. Look at that little ghost. And then we have... So the floats mostly stay the same for Fright and Philly Fun. Because like the floats are pretty much the same as last year, as they were for this year. I do love this like, float of the Mayor of Halloween. Is it Halloween Town? It's Halloween Town. Yeah. The song also is really, really good. I, I love the song for Frightfully Fun. You got some like absolutely ripping guitar for it, which you all know I love. Got vampires on these like. Have you seen how like these work here? It's like what 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 it is. It's like it's. You, you know those like dress cover wire things that like shape dresses? 
Uh, it's like those, and then they have like their performers like push him around. It's fun. They always look like velvety soft too. I wanna, I wanna like pet one of those vampires. Oh! <gasps> There's a video of Pro Lance Halloween Parade the day I was there, and you can see me holding Rico. Ayo, rocks in the theme park video capture of the Pro Land Halloween Parade. Let's fucking go. That that's so cool. That makes me happy. I, I didn't notice, but like I find it really funny that they like let people through in the middle of the parade. You got Jack and Sally there, before, and then like let people through before the haunted mansion bit. the costuming for all the Haunted Mansion parts of the uh, Halloween performances. I love the uh, ballroom dancers, I love the suits on the shovel scrapers. There's a Korean music park called Lottie World, and they have a super rip-off Disney parade. They just repeat one song where they say Lottie. <laughs> There's even a little mermaid and Latin rip-off. You're a food company, not a TV company. Aw, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to look this up. I, I wanna look it up on the side. Lottie World. I know, it, is it like the penis theme park in Korea too? Cause I, I was thinking like, it's either the cheese one? Jeju Land, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky World. Ooh! I wanna show you, oh my, oh! Wow! Okay, I, I will show you some of these pictures after this parade happens, cause like, aw, this rules! This is actually really cute! Okay, wait, actually no, I need to, I need to show you guys this real quick, cause this is rad. Oh. Oh, look at their mascots! Oh, look at their mascots! Does that notification say Smug Daddy? Yeah, Ma Maddie just followed! It's Lottie and Lottie. I, I like this sad dog. I like this Italian pig. And I like this fun little wacky hat, like, polar bear fella. You know, for for like being amusement park mascots, I I really think these are really good mascots, like design wise. Look at them. I I love oh oh Lottie here, Lottie here though. I like this dog. I I love this like almost kind of like barbed esque dog. Oh Latte. Okay. So it's Latte and Lottie. I see. <laughs> you're just saying that because they look like Sonic Ross? I mean, you're not wrong, but also they look good. I, I will look up the parade after we finish this parade.
Because I'm really curious. I, will, I, I don't trust that pig. I do like this pig, actually. I like his pants. This, this dog has won my heart. Banu. Hi, Boyko. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna... Well, let me find a video on the side. Oh. I've been saying cunt this whole stream. That should be allowed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lotto World Parade Song <laughs> People really like the song Alright, I, I got the next one locked and loaded I do like these, like, spooky shadows. Really tall and dangly. Ah, see, like, F Felicia may be only, like, one singular spotlight in Villains Grove, but he does have his own float and frightfully fine, so y y you give it, you take it a little bit. You are sitting like Call of Three guy. Can I. Can I Can I, can I do it? Kinda. A little bit. Oh, I want. I want to do it. I want to do the hands. Yeah, there we go. We're twinsies. I, I can't really make the incredulous face that he makes. So he's like. Oh yeah, villain's time, baby. Now Ursula's got the glowing stick, except it's like the glowing contract. I, I was talking about like the rare characters in the first parade at Not So Scary. There's some rare characters here at Frightfully Fun too. Ursula's here. Ursula's here, we know that. But like this one's got Judge Claude Frollo. Uh Costume Jafar. Sheriff of Nottingham. Tremaine and the stepsisters aren't really as rare as they used to be. They used to be rare, but like, uh, it's kind of funny, like, their social media presence and like people being like, oh, these, these three are absolutely rad, like, because so many people were like, give, give us more Tremaine, give us more stepsisters, like, they've been showing up more and more. Mother Gothel's pretty rare, actually. Not a lot on Mother Gothel. She absolutely is serving, though. You got Evil Queen! I don't think Evil Queen has, like, a name. She's just, like, Evil Queen. Got like his big dragon. That Cheshire Cat. I love the Cheshire Cat costume. If I if I had like a fursuit, I would make it like the Cheshire Cat costume. Like really like round and puffy looking. <laughs> First name evil, last name queen. <laughs>
Okay. So let me get the Latte World Parade up. I hope this is the right one. Uh, paste and go. So, so this is Latte World in Seoul, Korea. I like these indoor amusement parks that show up sometimes. I think they're fun. I like these costumes. They're fine. <laughs> I like the song too. Oh, th they even have their own monorail. Look at that. Oh, dope. Got like some steampunk fellows. Cool. I I'm very excited for the ripoff characters. Ah, I see what you mean. I love Rip Off Jafar actually. Rip Off Jafar is pretty cool. Wait, is that supposed to be like fake Aladdin? Ah! Wait, no, that's fake Aladdin. That has to be fake Aladdin. And this like Dragon Quest boss over here. Whoa! Hello! Guys. Wood. Wood. Ooh! Oh! That Anubis character was dope though! What? You kidding me? <laughs> Fake Prince of Egypt. <laughs> I feel like more and more as time goes on, people don't really like poke around with like Egyptian aesthetics anymore, even though they look really cool. Got Casper the Friendly Ghost over here, riding on like a smart dolphin. King Poseidon himself! <laughs> Pirates! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no, 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 go back, go back. That was so cute, though. What? <gasps> Look at the monorail! It's so tiny! It's like a three-car monorail. It's so cute, compact. Pirate does a flip. Pirates just do flips, don't they, though? Got pink pirate and blue pirate together at last. Oh my gosh, they're cute, though! I, I like this one with, like, this acorn hat. I like this, like, sleepy one. That looks like a little wizard. Yeah, no, like, I, I get it. Like, <laughs> it feels very, um, like when there's animation knockoff studios that are like, okay, we can't really, like, we, we don't have the brain power to come up with our own stories. How do we just, like, adapt a fairy tale? And then they know that they can't really, like, market it as its own thing. So they're like, okay, let's sell it as, like, a bootleg of, like, a Disney fairy tale. It kind of gives me that vibe, except, like, 
their own <laughs> they made a theme park out of it which i mean not gonna knock them if that's what they want to do with their time and money I do like their cute little, like, original IP little mascot for Reese, though. Bang fish. Well, if you say so. Theme park on a grape. Oh, spring fish. Okay. Lot Lots is really cute. Oh, I like this character. I like those costumes! Superstar Limo. Bang Spring Fish. Do you say so? Yeah. So their their lands are like um Pirate Cloud Egypt Middle East, I guess. Theme punk? Not not bad theming. I I I've seen worse, honestly. I've seen none. I've seen theme parks with like no theming and cohesion. Did I ever tell you all like my worst theme park experience? Where like I I, I will absolutely put this theme park on blast. Uh, my worst theme park that I ever went to was Elitch Park in Denver, Colorado. Um, I, I'm used to, whoa, I, I'm used to theme parks that at least having like a little bit of theming. I've been to like, you know, Southern California parks. I've been to Frontier City in Oklahoma. Uh, I've been to like, you know, places with like a little bit of theming. Elitch Park has none. It's just kind of like haphazardly slapped together. Ha like you, you know, my park that I was making in Planet Coaster on stream that one time. Not the not the evil park, not Demetropolis, but the other one, where like I at least kind of like grouped like ride types together and like made some of the theming a little bit like aesthetically together. Elitch Park has none of that. Um, you have like, co like the wood coaster next to its flume ride. You got like, uh, uh the coma coaster right next to like a dark ride made by the same people as Omega Mart. It was it was a wacky place for theming, but uh. I don't know what Elish's Park's deal is. Like, if, like, they don't really enforce a lot of rules or have a lot of staff kind of, like, cleaning things up or or what. But, uh... Outside a few of the, like, the things that I didn't like, I, I remember very distinctly, I was waiting in line for the Ferris wheel. And someone from really high up on the Ferris wheel spat off of the, like, off of the vehicle and landed right on me and it was really gross and I hated it. That's like my, that's in my like core memory banks of being at Elitch Garden. Oh, Magic Festa. Pearl Land Halloween. Yay! 
Cinema Roll! When the film repairs right, look for Rika's colors. I'll, I'll keep my eyeballs peeled. I like his spooky owl light. Oh, did you see that? Even further right. Okay. I was like, over here? Nah. I love I love Pearl Land. I love seeing like walkthroughs and like videos and vlogs and stuff on Pearl Land. It's so pretty. <laughs> Which is serving. Halloween is like the season of serving, apparently. Like even at the Disney parks, with it being family friendly, my my man's like Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean absolutely being absolutely cunty. This year's event is Magic Elvis, and no one knows what it means. <laughs> this person has the pom pom currency. Pom pom shows up the most. <gasps> yeah! Whenever, like, I know Choco Cat isn't gonna show up, my, my second best, like, okay, this is what I'm looking for, this is pom pom time. So, that, so that's good. I, I, I love me a pom pom. <gasps> Wait! No, I see it! <gasps> I saw rocks! Yeah! I, I saw it. I saw you. Oh, it's damn Daniel. Hi, damn Daniel. Hi, Karami. I love all the little witch costumes, they're so cute. Hi, my melody. Like lighting effects on like the witch sticks. They should add these out with the island adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised they don't do more like Pearl Land crossover stuff with um, I like the island adventure. That'd be really easy to do it, really easy to reference off of. It's my boy, son of a roll! Kalmata's voice in a roll.
<laughs> oh, there he is! There he is! Oh, Paolo's got a little mustache. What the? I love that. Oh, these dancers are slapping. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shoot. My earbud has died. There we go. Yippee! I like the lights going on on the, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the lights on, like, all the buildings look so good. <gasps> Wait, is that Wish Me Mel over there? <gasps> no fucking way. Mel section. Oh, wish me Mel looks so good. Yeah. There's my boy. Where's my fucking man's? Yes. Yes. Oh, I love your monocle pom pom. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pom Pom will absolutely throw it back. Oh, I drew Pom Pom today, actually. Uh, remind me to post uh, my Pom Pom that I drew in the Discord after stream. This is what the six look like when they spin them. I want to see it. Whoa! They look like little ghosties! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> little cinema roll. Pom pom show and hole. <laughs> Two dogs shaking their ass. Pom pom, cinema roll, and Pochaco are so slutty. For real, for real. I mean, if, if they weren't, we wouldn't have the be with us image. But where is it? I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna show you all. So I love that image so much. Uh, yeah, this one. This is my... My, like... Prime... Like... I, like, like, I mean... Come on. Horse. <laughs> Hole right there for everyone to see. And Pom Pom doesn't look like he has a thought in his mind about it. <laughs> they top three every year. I wonder what they have in common. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder. They got a little bit of that. <laughs> that couch treatment going on.
The wizard also has heals. Oh. Oh, a little bit, yeah. I, I, <laughs> curly feet. I love the curly boots. I do like... With, like... If you sit in a specific scene, you get to see more of a specific character. Like, that's... I think that's a smart way to do it, especially if you have, like, a round, like, performance area like this. Like, if, if you really wanted to see, like, cinema roll up close to personal, you can be in, like, the more, like, cinema roll area or whatever. That's a sort of smart way to do that. What are these jars? Oh? That oh, what? Huh? Oh, how did they do that? Oh. <laughs> Hello, happy world coded. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? How did they do that? That's such a cool effect! <gasps> bubbles over there! I see the bubbles. Hi, Pom Pom! Where's my fucking mans? Where's Pom Pom? Hand the camera over to Pom Pom Purin! Yes. Yes. No! I sent him a roll. I love how well, like, some costume performers can, like, absolutely throw it back dressed in, like, mascot costumes of this caliber. Because, like, they always look really, like, chunky and thick. And I know that they are full of, like, heat and padding, and it's, like, really hard to, like, move around in them sometimes, so sometimes when they can dance so effectively, it's really amazing to me. Magic. They're having so much fun! It's Halloween magic! Yeah. Yeah. Wait, bye-bye? Bye-bye?
Wait, you can buy the wand? Oh, what the fuck? I want one. I want a little, like... I, I love this silly little, like, janky theme park merch you can get. They make for really good stim toys, honestly. Bye, Cinema Roll! <laughs> bye, bye, Rocks holding Rico! <laughs> Bye, Pom Pom. Bye, bye, Pom Pom and Mustache. Bye, Wish Me Mel. Bye, Damn Daniel. <gasps> bye, Kitty. They've been saying bye for like four minutes now. When, when will they leave? Okay, there they go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I love that. That was great. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Now I saw Boogie Bash and Latte World and the Rocks and Dasher. Now I think it's a good time to call stream. So so I can watch this new nostalgia critic episode. Mmm. I love doing these theme park video watch alongs with y'all. Like I was saying before, like, I would literally, like, when I'm not streaming, I literally just, like, do this. I, I just watch theme park videos. One of the Monopolis members had a birthday today. And it's like, I wanted to raid into her. But I think that stream ended. That was 2024's Halloween Parade. 2023's was Karomi themed. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I was like... It made me think. Like, I know certain characters are, are popular in certain parts of the world. I, I, I don't think I've seen a lot of, like, Bats Maru as, like, a costume character. When I look at stuff at Pearl Land. Maybe I just haven't seen the right stuff. But like. Like Choco Cat not being there. Totally get. Choco Cat is not very popular in Japan. Choco Cat's more of like a western dude. Which is so funny to me. Hmm. He has a show mostly themed around him. <gasps> Ooh! The Pearl Land Kabuki Show. Photography not allowed. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad we are ending stream soon because apparently my other earbud is also dying. <laughs> All right, let, let me find someone to. 
say hell say hello uh Jade is streaming. Maybe Jade. Who who else is here? Also, two two of my friends named Jade are streaming right now. Uh. Reminder of most. Thank you. I I will. Oh, come on, it's coming out too. Hey, Kalmada. Uh, remind me to post my pom pom art after I finish stream. Pom pom art. I'm gonna end the stream soon. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you all to Jade Velfire because I love Jade so much. She's great. I haven't seen Jade in so long, but I love her so much. She's got a little gooey model right now. Um. <laughs> no, listen, rocks. Like derailing is what a Demeter Lupin stream is all about. Don't don't you worry your pretty little head. I'll be back here tomorrow with Voices of the Void. I, I got one-on-one -on -one taught how to play Voices of the Void. And I'm very excited to actually, like, play it tomorrow. Uh, this Saturday is going to be the Skeleton Smasher Fast, for sure. Uh, I don't know what's going to be sandwiched between those two, but we'll see. It's going to be you. Sandwich. All right, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye bye. I love you guys. Have a have a good have a have a good. I I love you. Go do crime. <laughs>